Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. I know I typically don't do any videoing on Saturdays, but I was inspired last night to, to create something and I thought, oh, what a perfect day to, to play around and show you guys something that I cooked up. <laughs> well, not literally cooked, but something I put together last night. Um, kind of really excited about it. I think it's really cool and really pretty. But um, I made as a variation of my low bun cap with all the fluff. I've been testing out one with no fluff, but just a, a low bun and just the, the pretty cap. This one, I saw this material and I just, I fell in love. It's this really pretty velvet on, um, on a net. It's a, it's a type of lace, but it's embroidered and it has this velvet on it. Yeah, it's just really, really cool. That was just super cool. And I, instead of using a blue lining or a white lining or anything like that, I used this really cool flesh tone. It's similar to my flesh tone. Not every, everybody's flesh tone is different, but this is a really cool, I, I that's again, that's the, the closest I can get it. Maybe it's an ivory, but the inside is fully, fully lined. It's kind of cool. So I was really, really, really excited to show you guys this. Um, and I made a mask because of course, who are everybody's wearing masks? And we're gonna be wearing masks for the foreseeable future. So my thing is I'm making my own masks, but I'm making masks that match all of my, or at least coordinate with all of my headgear. And it only made sense to make the mask the exact same. Now, this one um, is pretty cool. It's got a little pocket for adding coffee filter, or if you're lucky enough to have those activated carbon or, or the other filters, you can stuff those in there. And it works super duper well. Now, for the, for the strings, I'm not so worried about the strings because they're just strings. So I have this, this stretchy golden blonde colored stuff laying around. Can't always get um, elastics right now. That's, it's not a thing. And also the bias tape. I don't have forever to make bias tape out of this kind of fabric and it wouldn't be so wouldn't be so so helpful to hold on because it would it would fray and rip after after a small amount of time because it's very fragile this um this kind of fabric now just placing it on your face is not so bad but if you were to tie and untie tie and untie it several times then it would then it would be weird i hope that makes sense i'm sort of excited and rambling but i thought i was like oh i have to show you ladies now I also have this really great thrift store find. Um, it was $2 at my local thrift shop, but it has this really beautiful detailing. It was at the thrift shop because it's missing some of its jewels, but nobody ever notices. So it, this is the front and the back on the long edge. And this is the short edge has on both sides has this. So I put them together because I just thought it would be really pretty. In a perfect world, I would find this really pretty blue on a, a tan or a flesh color ivory background. That would be so, so much fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna consider looking into finding trims similar to this or, cause I don't really have the time to so all this and I definitely do not have an embroidery machine. All my embroidery is done by hand. So I will be looking for things like this to put on a lighter colored netting. But okay, so <laughs> let's get to more fun stuff. Um, for today's look, I decided to go with a, a blue and brown eye makeup look. It's kind of fun, it's different not my normal. And I am wearing a Cloud9 Shaper. This cap can be worn with just a, let's see if I have it laying about, 
somewhere I have got to put away all my scarves the past the past two weeks I haven't put away a single scarf and I'm it's embarrassing because I have plenty of space to put them and um, I just haven't felt like it I just been taking them off and throwing them on the on the floor and in baskets so lazy me um, I do not have my velvet headband on on hand on here let's check ah here we go okay <laughs> I put this away makes no sense so could be worn with a velvet headband or if you want or need a little volume in you can wear it with a shaper now um i'm hoping to be able to produce limited numbers of these kinds of of caps it's not going to be a ton because i like i like the it's it's a lot that goes into making these it's a lot placement of on the fabric and hand sewing because all of these you are all the visible parts you can see they're right in all the stitches are hand sewn so that you don't see all the stitches on the top um i do very limited uh, machine sewing on this it's just the this is hand sewn here uh, but underneath where the bun attaches to the main body, that's sewn with the saw machine to give it a little bit more hold. Okay, now that I've talked a ton, I'm going to show you the look that I thought was kind of cool today. Now I'm going to put the mask on first because I don't want to see the strings over top. You can put this on and then tie it, especially if the strings are more matchy to the cap. Now I'm going to pull the strings a little bit and very attractive. Place the mask on my face. Give my never quite sure where to put the the loop de dupe on this, but and yes, this is quite long. The strings are quite long. I haven't adjusted it yet. But these will get cut, these will get tucked away. So no, no big to do. Okay. So let's see. All right. Now I'm going to take this cap. Elastic goes in the back. I turned it out a little bit and I'm just going to get it, walk it up. It's pretty simple. And then I have, this can definitely be just a look all its own. It's really, it's really pretty. And it looks like so. Now, for going out this morning, I'm definitely using this. <laughs> now I'm putting it on with one side short, one side long. I'm going to cheat this up for a second. I'm going to tie a quickie knot in the back. It's just a standard quickie knot like so okay so i have this nice this nice piece lying here okay and then i'm just going to pull this back drop it off it'll be covered up you won't see it too much it's not horrible okay so for this piece I think I could either I could probably get away with just bringing it up like so and taking a couple of pins on the underneath let's make sure it's even first and get this in in place 
like so. And then pull this over and do the same. Now the pinning I'm doing on the flip side because I don't want to really want to see it. Okay, like so. Now this fun piece, I can bring around like this. And just attractively drape it and put a pin just to hold it in place like so you don't really see it I could also instead of pinning it there I can find my pin head again okay I could probably bring this around and do something here as well. I could even unpin this one, just drop, drape it there, bring this around. Pin this, then bring my friend back, or back down. And pin here. Like so. And adjust, of course. Because this would also give me the opportunity for a bit of for a bit of play with bringing the net up. Like so. If I wanted to keep this kind of look down here as well. It's kind of fun. So again, just a I'll see if I can get an adjustment just to show you. How this just lays. I can adjust this over my shoulder. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. If I can get my camera set back up, I will turn around and show you the back. And from this side as well. All right. I hope you ladies have a wonderful day.